Marvin, Jeffy, get in here. Sorry, baby, I was wiping Jeffy. And it was a stinky one. Marvin, he's 19 years old. He can wipe his own butt. You would think so, but I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes after I wipe my butt, I just smack it to the wall. And then other times I stick so much toilet paper in my butt crack, I look like a peacock. See, that's why I had to wipe him. Wait, what's all this stuff? I went Halloween costume shopping. Halloween's not for two more weeks. I know, Marvin, but I had to get costumes before they sold out. Look, I got Jeffy a ducky costume. Wah, wah. A Ninja Turtle costume. What's up, my ninjas? Jeffy, don't say that. I got a Cookie Monster costume and a piglet. Oh, piglet all day. I'm gonna go try this baby on. You're not gonna put that on before bed. Yes, before bed. Marvin, look, I also got this Chucky doll. Why would you get a Chucky doll? Because it's cool and it talks. Press the button. <sighs> I'll kill you. I'll slaughter your whole family. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so fun. He has over 25 different catchphrases. Press it again. Okay. I'm going to kill you, you bald piece of shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. How would he know I'm bald? I don't know, Marvin. It's just technology. Well, no, he only has 25 catchphrases. What are the odds that one of them's about a bald person? Press it again. <gasps> he just said press it again. Yeah, Marvin, it's probably on demo mode. Press it. <sighs> I'm not on demo mode, and I'm not a toy. Open this box so I can kill you. <laughs> He just said he's not on demo mode. I, I think this doll is possessed. Marvin, you're crazy. <gasps> Look, Marvin, the news! Breaking news, McKay. The toy company is saying that their toys are possessed. We have a press conference with a police officer now. Hey there, officer guy here. Uh, so we've been informed by the toy manufacturer that some of the toys they produce are going to become possessed on Friday the 13th, which is right now because it's past midnight. So be on the lookout for killer toys. Uh, we have reports of 15 murders so far. Like we got a Mr. Potato Head that's been killing people. We got some hungry, hungry hippos that have taken a few kids' fingers off. So if you have a possessed toy in your house, put them in a box and return them to the store for a full refund. Baby, look! The news said that toys are possessed. That doll is possessed. No, he's not, Marvin. You're being being silly. Then why would the news say that? Because it was probably a Friday the 13th Fool's Day joke. That doesn't even make any sense. Hey, Danny, check the fit. Piggy as fuck. Jeffy. Oink oink as fuck. Jeffy. Where's Winnie the shit? Jeffy, it's Winnie the Pooh and stop cussing so much. Well, stop being bald so much. Haha, <laughs> good one. Baby, he just said ha ha good one. I know that's not one of his 25 catchphrases. Marvin, it's just motion activated. Yeah, let's say that. This doll is possessed, baby. I think we should take it out of the box. Please. No. Danny, where's Tigger? Wait a minute. Tigga. It's more soft. Jeffy, don't say that. Buddy, my piggy costume's got a fupa. The bigger the fupa, the tastier the chalupa. Go to bed, Jeffy. Oh, Daddy, I'm actually gonna run down to the market and have some roast beef, and then I'm gonna wee 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 all in my pants. No, Jeffy, I just changed you. So we opening this box or what? No, we're not opening this box. I'm gonna take this box to the kitchen so no one opens it. Aww. All right, Chucky, you're gonna stay right here. Come on, man. What, Chef Pee Pee, what are you cooking? Chicken Alfredo with red food coloring so it looks like guts because of Friday the 13th. <laughs> looks yummy. Ah, oh, these scary ass doll. No, no, this doll is possessed. There's no way that doll's possessed. He knows how to compliment some food. Whatever you do, do not open up this box. Whatever, whatever. Leave me alone so I can cook. Come on, man. I'm real hungry. Just open the box. Well, you did compliment your boy's cooking, so I guess I could open it for a little bit, not too long, but you gotta go back in. Okay. This is some good chicken Alfredo, Chef PP. Thank you. Finally. Damn, somebody said that shit. God. Hey, can you pass the pepper? Oh, yeah. I know my boy needs some pepper. Put some pepper in your stuff. Here you go. Whoop. Oh, here you go, my bad. <laughs> you know, Chef PP, you're a cool dude. Yeah, yeah, you too, Chucky, but tell me something. What the hell happened to your face, man? Oh, well, I died in a toy store during a shootout with the police. Ah, uh, shit, it happens, it happens. Yeah, so now my soul is trapped in this doll. Oh, man, that sucks. Uh, but personal question, does your dick still work? Oh, yeah, they made a whole movie about it. Oh, that's great, man, that's great. But tell me, uh, what are your personal hobbies, man? What do you like to do? I like to kill people. Look. Oh man, it's always the white boys and the gingers. <laughs> but tell me about yourself. What do you like to do? Uh, what don't I do? I cook, I clean, uh, I slave. Man, I just wish everybody would die. I can help you with that. Oh man, nice joke, Chucky, but I know you're just joking. I'm not joking. I'll kill everybody. Uh, I think it's time to get back in the box before Marvin gets mad. No, nope, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna kill everyone. Oh God, not Marvin's gonna be mad at me. Marvin, I can't believe you took my Chucky doll from me. He's possessed. No, he's not, Marvin. You're just paranoid. He's supposed to say scary things. Hey, you wanna die? Wow, I didn't know he could walk. He can't. Is that a real knife? Yeah, you wanna feel it? Look, Marvin, he's actually stabbing me. Is that real blood? Yeah, no, hold still. <laughs> Marvin, look, I'm actually bleeding! I think I might die! <laughs> 
You're next. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> okay, I locked the door. Jimmy! Jimmy! You ever heard of knocking, Daddy? Me and Peppa Pig were about to pork. We were going to do it piggy style. And I was going to take the dirt road home because the Red River was flowing. Jeffy, call 911. That doll's trying to kill me. I'm on it, Daddy. Let me grab my phone. All right, 911. I think I'm on hold. That's not a real phone, Jeffy! Yes, it is! Why is the cord plugged in? Oh, fuck. Jeffy, use your other phone! Okay. Uh, All right, Danny, I got my phone. Hurry up and call 911. All right. Ella tiene un gato. What the hell was that? It's Duolingo. I'm learning to speak Mexican. Wait, oh, Jeffy, no, call 911. What's his number? Give me the phone. <laughs> Come on, please answer, please answer. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, thank God. Well, wait a minute. You sound like the cop from the news. Yeah, I don't want the fame to go to my head, but yeah, I was on TV. So that means you're gonna understand what I'm talking about. So, there's this crazy toy. Oh, it, this is about to kill a toy. Yeah, 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 there's this toy, and it killed my wife. Oh, he killed your wife. Well, in that case, maybe you should send him to my house. He'd be doing me a big favor. <laughs> Please? No, I need you to come over. Well, if you just put him back in the box, he'll get your refund. No, 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 I just need you to come over and help me. So you don't want the refund. Most people are calling about the refund. I don't give a shit about the refund. It's trying to kill me, and I want you to stop it from killing me. Oh. Uh, Okay, oh, I think I see what's going on. You want me to come over and help you? Yes! Yeah, see, the problem is that sounds scary. Well, it's your job to help me! Yeah, it is my job. All right, whatever, I'll be right there. Oh, thank you. Hey, Danny, I don't hear the guy at the door anymore. I think he left. Let me go check. I don't want to open up the door in case he's still there. Let me check under the door. See if I can see him. No, I don't see him. Hey there. <laughs> Oi no es miércoles. <laughs> Wait, Jeffy, you're still doing Duolingo! We're trapped in this room and we can't get out! Podríamos escapar por la ventana y encontrar algunas putas. What'd you just say, Jeffy? Let's escape out the window! <gasps> Good idea! There's someone at the door! That's probably the cops! But we can't answer it because we're trapped in the room! <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Die! Whoa, excited little fella, aren't you? Well, could you stop brandishing that knife at me, please? Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyway, we're the police, and we got a call that there was a killer toy here. Oh, no, no killer toy here. Oh, that's good. Must have just been a prank call. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of calls about killer toys tonight. Hey, wait, where's your mommy and daddy? They're dead. Oh, you hear that, Simmons? He's an orphan. Oh, he's never getting adopted. Yeah, he is an ugly orphan. Hey, buddy, what are you doing with that knife? Oh, I was cutting cucumbers. Oh, what are you making, pickles? Pickles? Who makes pickles? Oh yeah, you're right. People usually just buy them. Oh, what happened to your face, buddy? I ran into a door. Was it a door full of scissors? <laughs> Good one, Simmons. Anyway, it's raining. I like to state obvious things. It helps me focus. You're ugly. Simmons thinks you're ugly, too. Oh, mate, you can read my mind. <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, uh, we're just gonna take off. But if you are a killer toy, could you stop by my house later and help me kill my wife? Will do! All right, thanks, buddy. Wait a minute. Does that mean you are a killer toy? No. Killer toy says what? What? Ha, gotcha. Put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest, killer toy. Five bucks he runs. Double or nothing, Simmons. Deal. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Freeze! Okay, ugly, we got your corner. Now just turn yourself in or we'll beat you up and make you even uglier. But I didn't do nothing. Well, he has a point. I can't really prove that he did do nothing. Hey, mate, look, there's a body. A body? Where? Right there, right there. You see the clue, too? Where? On the couch! On the couch? I don't see it. Look down! Look down! <gasps> there is a dead body. Now let's put these clues together. A dead body, a scary guy with a knife, and a 911 call about a dead wife. <gasps> you did kill her! Oh man, you guys caught me. Okay, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. I always pick the hard way. Simmons, the box! On it! Gotcha! <laughs> we got him the easy way. <laughs> Okay, Marvin, you can come out. We got him. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. He's dead? Oh, no, he's not dead. Even better. We put him back in the box and we returned him for a refund. Wait, he's still alive so he can escape and come and kill me? Oh, he's not going to escape. That box is closed. And you got a refund? Oh, yeah. We didn't even need a receipt. It's free returns within 14 days. Well, can I have that $100? Hell no! You didn't even want the refund, remember? You made me come and deal with him. Oh, well, my wife is still dead. Can you try to revive her? <sighs> I guess I'll put my doctor outfit on and try. 
Okay, she's alive. Look, Marvin, the doctor revived me! Yeah, it wasn't easy bringing somebody back to life when they've been dead for five-ish minutes, but I did it. And she might have some permanent brain damage from the lack of oxygen, but other than that, she'll be okay. It's fine. She's not the only person I know that has brain damage. Hey, Daddy, I frosted Peppa Pig's turds. Peppa Pink and her booty hole brown. Discovery solar robot. How long is that gonna take, Jeffy? Not long at all, because it's 197 easy build pieces. 197 pieces? Come on, Marvin, just help him out. It's gonna take forever, baby. But it says easy build. Yeah, Daddy, it's so easy an eight-year-old can do it. See, it says age is eight plus. No, Jeffy, I think that's how many hours it's gonna take to build, eight plus. No, Daddy, look how many pieces. What the, what the hell is this? You gotta break every little individual piece. That's gonna take a whole day by itself. Daddy, that's light work. It's not light work. It's gonna take forever, Jeffy. No, it won't, Daddy. Look at the instructions. What? This is like hieroglyphics. I'm not a scientist. I can't read this, Jeffy. Look, how about we just play with something else, Jeffy? Like, you can go play with something fun. Okay, Daddy. I guess I'll just play with matches. No, 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 Jeffy. <laughs> hey! Where fire go? I blew it out. You're not gonna play with matches, Jeffy. But where fire go? I blew it out. Where fire go when you blow it out? It disappears. But where does it go? It goes back to the sun. That's that's where fire comes from. Why? Uh, Jeffy, just go take a bath. <sighs> okay, Daddy. I'm never gonna build that. It would take forever. Time for me to turn on the bath. Wait, wait, what the? What is that? Elephant poop in the bathtub? Daddy! Daddy! What do you want, Jeffy? You're supposed to be taking a bath. Well, I was going to, Daddy, but there's six elephant turds in the bathtub. You took a crap in the bathtub, Jeffy! It wasn't me this time! Jeffy, you're supposed to poop in the toilet, not the bathtub. It wasn't me, Daddy! It's the size of elephant poop! Well, Jeffy, you go clean it up because it's yours. No, Daddy, you have to see it! Come see it! Marvin, just go with him. But, baby, he craps in the bathtub and he's just trying to show us to brag about it. Okay, you know what, Jeffy? I'm gonna make you clean it up. Come on. See, <laughs> they look. What, are those potatoes? No, it's elephant poop. Jeffy, that's not elephant poop. There's no smell. It looks like they're kind of eggs. How are you getting eggs out of that? Because of the shape of eggs, and I don't know what these are. They look really old. Well, let me call an egg expert. But pick them up and bring them to the couch. All right, daddy. Hey, there. Somebody call an expert. <laughs> I expected that to get more of a laugh. <laughs> I get it. Now you're just exaggerating. <laughs> now I'm just egging you on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's get started. What do you got for me? So we found these in our bathtub, but we don't know what they are. Hmm. Well, at a glance, they look like dinosaur eggs. Dinosaur eggs? Or they could be bombs. Bombs? Yeah, you can never be too careful. Okay, everybody duck. Frag grenade out. Huh, not a bomb. Well, I guess I know what these are now. Dinosaur eggs? Exactly. They were in my bathtub. Yeah, well, dinosaur eggs are extremely rare because dinosaurs are extinct. So destroying or disturbing these eggs is a serious felony. You can get a lot of time in prison. Didn't you just throw one out the window? Hey, that was for science. I had to make sure these weren't bombs. Why would these be bombs? Well, you never know what those crazy terrorists are planning. One minute you think it's a dinosaur egg and then you try to grab it and then bam, your hand ends up looking like Jason Pierre Paul's. Well, where would dinosaur eggs even come from? Hmm. Let's think about that for a second. Let's let's really think about that. They're they're dinosaur eggs, so they probably would have come from dinosaurs. Huh, how about that? Context clues as fuck. But, like, but where would a dinosaur even be at? Mervin, we have a pet dinosaur. We do have a pet dinosaur. Jeffy, go grab your pet dinosaur. All right, Donnie. You forgot you had a pet dinosaur? Well, yeah, I'm getting old. All right, Donnie, there's Booger. <laughs> All right, so that's our dinosaur named Booger. Oh, don't say that name. Hey, Brooklyn guy! Jesus Christ. It's me, Booger! Yeah, I know, Booger. Hi. Did you miss me? Not really. Who are you talking to? I have an imaginary friend named Booger, and whenever you said that name, he thought you were summoning him, so now he won't get the hell out of my ear. Hey, who's these people? They mess with you? No, they're not. You want me to ruffle my... No, you don't have to do that. They're fine. Okay, good, because you're the man. I know. They should know that, too. No. You're the guy. Yeah, you're understand. the best. Yeah, you're okay. awesome. I get it. You're the uh, yeah, okay. Uh, Jesus Christ, Booger. Just let me do my job. Oh, you're doing your job? You want me to help you? No, Let's I don't. Pee your pants, I didn't Jack. pee my pants. Hey, you didn't pee your pants. Good job, buddy. Uh, you know, That's seven days free. Uh, yeah, okay. Pee your pants, the man. Thank you. Yeah, hey, hey, Booger. Hey, you know what you can do for it? You can get me some tissues for all my boogers. Oh, you got some boogers? 
Boogers up No, I don't. Get, get out of my nose, there. Booger. Hey, no Boogers up there, but there's a Booger right here. Could you just get the tissues, please, Booger? Yeah, I'll be right on that. Holy shit. Okay, can we please make this quick before he comes back? You see that dinosaur right there? That dinosaur laid these eggs. It's a girl dinosaur. Congratulations. But I thought Booger was a boy. Nope, it's a girl. Okay, so then how did she get pregnant? Well, you know, another dinosaur had to... <laughs> Thank you, Booger. Okay, look, I helped you with your problem. Just don't destroy these eggs, all right? Take care of them. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, we get ice cream? Oh, fuck. I can't believe Booger's a girl. But Marvin, who got Booger pregnant? I don't know. We don't know any other dinosaurs. Ooh, my bibs, can I buy $70? Why do you need $70, Dougie? To get the new Harry Poopers game. There's a new Harry Potter game? Yeah, it's Harry Poopers and the Expedition of Hobbles. You get to see Dumbledoofus. You also get to give a Dobby his sock back. And you get to see Hermione's father. Okay, well, I thought you played Call of Duty, not Harry Potter. Well, usually I do be playing some Call of Duty, but now I want to play Harry Potter. I want to be on Hufflepuff. Have a good day, bibs. Okay, well, all I have is a... It's a hundred dollars. Oh, that'll do. Well, I need my change back. Well, if you want some change, and you need to vote for Obama. What? Yeah. Oh, you be collecting some rocks? No, these are dinosaur eggs, Dougie. Dinosaur eggs? Eggs is expensive. Wait a minute. Uh, Dougie, you see that dinosaur over there? Oh, yeah, that got my cousin Pookie. Well, did you and your cousin Pookie, you know, uh, 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 oh, yeah? Uh. Oh, no, man, no, that's my cousin Pookie. She ratchet, she a thot. Well, I thought, I thought Booger, I mean, I, I thought your cousin Pookie was a boy. Nah, I mean, she's so ugly, she could be a boy. But I ain't, I ain't do nothing with her. So these are not your eggs? No, those ain't mine. All right, baby, we really got to protect these eggs. They're very valuable. <laughs> You said they were valuable. Yeah, they are valuable. They're dinosaur eggs. They're worth a lot of money. Well, how much is they worth? I don't know. Thousands? Oh, the thousands? Stacks? Mama, we should sell these right here. But uh, we're not selling them, Dougie. They're going to hatch, and they're, they're, they're like, dinosaurs are extinct, so they're endangered. We'll go, we'll go to jail if we sell these, Dougie. Oh, come on, Ma Bips. We could get some money. We're not. We'd be really ripped. We're not getting money. Just go buy your Harry Potter game, Dougie. <sighs> okay, Ma Bips. All right, baby, let's protect these eggs. Hey there, welcome to the black market. Why I gotta be black? Cause of my skin color? No, it's cause it's dark in here. All right then, as long as it's cause of that. So you buying or selling? Well, I'm trying to sell me some dinosaur eggs, but I ain't got any. Okay, well, if you did have dinosaur eggs, you could get a lot of money for them cause dinosaurs are extinct. Well, how much money I be gets? Probably a couple million cause they're pretty rare. Millions? Like a million badillion? Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go steal them and I'll be right back. Okay. Marvin, can we go out to eat tonight? No, baby, we have to stay home and sit on these eggs until they hatch. But how do we know they're going to hatch? Because they're eggs, baby, and eggs hatch when... Oh, no! You caught me! Dougie, you put that egg back right now! No, I got to sell it for some money! You're not selling these eggs, Dougie. They're endangered. Let it go. But, folk, I need some money! No, you, you put the egg down. No, you no, this is my money. Egg. Give it to me! Oopsie daisy. Doug, you just killed that egg. Well, if you would have let me have it, then I could have sold it for some money and it would still be alive. Doug, I'm going to get in so much trouble. That was illegal what you just did. Well, if you're going to get in trouble anyway, why don't you just let me have one of the eggs? No, you're not having any more of these eggs. Fine, just keep it. Wait, wait, no, 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 Dougie. Dougie, get back here. Oh, no. Ah, Dougie, you broke another egg. No, you broke the egg by tackling me and makes me drops it. I ain't do nothing wrong. Well, Dougie, just get out of here. Baby, we lost another egg. What? How? Because Ma Bibbs tried pushing me down the stairs because he's mean. No, you were trying to steal the eggs, and now we only have three left. If Broken Guy finds out we lost two of the eggs, we're going to get arrested. Hey there, just here to check on those eggs and make sure they're not broken. Uh, Why are there three? B because five is a lot to sit on. <laughs> That's what my ex-wife didn't say. Well, look, we needed help sitting on the eggs to help them hatch. So Booger said on two of them. Don't say that name, please. I'm talking about Booger the dinosaur. God damn it. Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me, Booger. I'm back. Oh, good. Oh, why are you in your cop uniform? You gonna catch some bad guys? Yeah, well, I am a cop, Booger. Oh, you should shoot him. I'm not gonna shoot anybody. Um, is it happening again? Oh, yeah. I am in hell right now. Oh, Brooklyn guy, great idea. You play good cop, I'll play the bad cop. They can't hear you, Booger. That wouldn't work. Okay, you go first. <sighs> what happened to the other two eggs? What happened? It doesn't matter if you yell, Booger, they can't hear you. We should arrest them. You know what? That's a good idea. Go get the handcuffs, Booger. Oh, okay, okay. But don't forget, by that time in middle school when you misspelled house in a school spelling bee. H-O-W-S-E. Now, everyone else thought you were wrong, but I thought you was right. It should be spelled that way, because you the man. Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you, Booger. Okay, I'll go get the, those handcuffs. 
cuffs. Please, please do But don't forget about that time in high school when you asked how your crush Rebecca Smith oh, and you pooped Rebecca. your pants. Oh. Remember everyone called you stinky, smelly, ugly, stupid Brooklyn guy? Yeah. Not me. I called you the man. Poopy pants the man. Yeah, you did say that. Thank you, Booga. Okay, we don't have long before he gets back. Uh, what happened to the eggs? Oh, because uh, I told you. I told you that the, 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 the dinosaur was sitting on them, and that, that's what's happening. Well, that's really interesting, because I found one of the eggs broken at the bottom of your stairs, and when I pulled into the driveway, I found the other one broken there next to the one that I broke for science. So so there's two in the driveway? No, you just reused the footage of you throwing the last one, you lazy piece of shit. Well, well I, I didn't feel like doing it again. I'm tired. Oh, wait, listen, listen. listen. We, got, we got three eggs, and it's not my fault. You know, it's, it's, it's Dougie's fault. Well, it's not my fault. I just really wanted the eggs so I could sell them for a million dollars. Ah, I got those handcuffs, Brooklyn guy. Oh, that's good, because it looks like I'm going to be arresting these people. Wait, 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 hold on, I'm sorry. Did, did you just say that you were going to sell these eggs for a million dollars? Yeah. Oh, you could be a rich man. The man's man. The manliest man that ever man to man. Huh, I do like the sound of that. Yeah, be do the right thing, Brooklyn guy. Wait, you, we can't sell these for a million dollars. It's against the law. Screw the law. I want to be a millionaire. If we sell these, we can get a million dollars each. I mean, there are three and... There's three of us, so we all have a million dollars. Let's go sell these eggs. All right, let's go sell them. All right, here's the dinosaur egg. Hey, no cops. That's like rule number one in the black market. Well, no, 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 he's cool, he's cool. We're just trying to sell these eggs. So we'll really get a million dollars per egg? Yeah, if these are real dinosaur eggs. Um, no, these are not real dinosaur what? eggs. What are you talking about? You said they were real. They are. Hey, if Brooklyn Guy says they're real, they're real. So, so these are man. not real. No, no, there's a lot of fake eggs going around. See, there's this kid's toy you can buy at Target. It's the dig em up dinosaur eggs toy. I opened mine already. It's actually really fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think I bought these for Jeffy like a few months ago. I just forgot. Yeah, that'll happen. So we don't get a million dollars per egg? No, sorry. But I'll tell you what, if you have a built version of this thing, I'll give you 10 million. Oh, that's not worth it. I know. Cody, how was school? Yeah, did you learn about how long the Great Wall of China is? It's 13,000 miles, Dad. Dang, I didn't believe that. Oh, Cody, you got a little bit of a boo-boo. Yeah, it's a pretty bad boo-boo. Oh, Cody, you're missing your whole ear. Were you running with scissors? No, a kid bit it off. What? What did the kid look like? I know you poked his eyes out of something. No, it was a kindergartner. Cody, what are you doing fighting kindergartners? Why don't you fight somebody your own age? Well, I am in kindergarten. Wait, wait, you in kindergarten? No way! Uh-uh. Well, Cody, what happened? Are you too stupid and they put you back there? No, the principal found out I only had like four birthdays and it was a whole thing. Well, okay, I want a parent-teacher conference because you should not be getting your ear bit off at school. Come on. Mm-hmm. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Nutkiss. I understand you wanted to meet me for a parent-teacher conference? Yeah, we want to know why the fuck Cody's ear is not on his noggin. Ah, uh, yes, that was an unfortunate incident with another student who bit Cody's ear off. Oh, uh, excuse me, miss. Why does this crayon say Negro on it? Oh, uh, that's the Spanish word for the color black. Oh, uh, I don't see now. One Spanish kid in this damn class. You just wanted to say nigga, did you? No, I didn't. Excuse me. Are those animal crackers for guests? Uh, no. Those are for the students. Shit, I'm about to eat, son, since you want to say nigga all, all the time. Shit. What? Yeah, Miss Cracker. To be fair, you are a cracker. I'm so sorry. What did you want to discuss with me? Uh, Cody does not belong in kindergarten. He's very smart. Mm -hmm. He should be in big boy school where they do drugs in the bathrooms. Oh, so you want him to do drugs? Yes, it builds character. I want to get a call saying Cody got shot. Yeah, but see on his chest. Okay, well, uh, we can give Cody a final exam today, and if he passes, he can go up to whatever grade he wishes. That sounds good. Does that sound good, Cody? Don't speak, only nod. Cody says that sounds good. Well, we are certainly gonna miss having Cody in our class. He is irreplaceable. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? You wanna go, bitch? Yeah, beat her ass! Beat her racist ass, baby! I'm, I'm not the so bitch, sorry. bitch! Don't try me! No. Yeah! She's not the one or the two, bitch! Uh -huh. I'm gonna take this ear and sew it back on Cody's head. Yeah, do it, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Crackers too. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Crackers. Man, Joseph, I hate school, but Friday is the best day. Yeah, dude, it's the closest day to the weekend. I don't even do my work on Friday. I just push it off till Monday. Yeah, you can just sleep in class all day. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Cody, you still doing that kindergarten thing? Yeah, I gotta study for my final exam. Five cats, six flowers, seven balloons, eight crayons, nine cupcakes, ten tractors, got it. What exam do you have to study for in kindergarten? Well, this is the final exam, and if I pass this, I get to go back to normal school with you guys. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. The school year's not even over with. Yeah, but a kid bit my ear off, and there was a parent-teacher conference. It was a whole thing. So if you pass this test, you come back to normal school? Yeah, and this is really important for me, so I really have to study. How many cats? Okay, five, got it. 
Okay, well, I mean, me and Joseph didn't even get to go to kindergarten. Yeah. Well, yes, you did. You've been to kindergarten before. No, we wanted to sneak into your kindergarten class and hang out with you. Guys, do not sneak into my kindergarten class. But it would be so fun to, like, screw around and, like, have a free day. It is Friday. No, no, this is very important for me, and if I screw this up, I get stuck in kindergarten, so you guys are not coming. Okay, fine, we won't come. Okay, I'm going to school. Five cats, five cats, five cats. All right, Joseph, we're going to sneak into his kindergarten class. Oh, yeah, dude, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> What's that? Did I hear you say you're looking for a free-to-play mobile game where you can create your very own dragon empire? Well, then let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dragon City. Dragon City lets you hatch, collect, and evolve over a thousand dragons, even ones inspired by YouTubers. They even added a piece of the SML universe to the game. Build your dream city with magical habitats and awesome decorations. Test your dragons in epic battles. Climb the leaderboard and show off your dragon. Dragon Mastery. Dive into quests, unlock powerful skills, and join forces with over 450 million players in a community where legends are made. Click the link below or scan the QR code to download Dragon City now. Get the SML decoration instantly, plus 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic Ovi Dragon to kickstart your adventure. But hurry, it's a limited time offer. <laughs> It's my last day here. Yummy! I got purple Beto spaghetti. I want some. You can't actually eat it in Beto. Watch me. No, it's my spaghetti. God, I can't wait to get out of this class. All right, class, settle down. Settle down, class. All right, today is April twelfth, which means today is purple, purple day. Yes, it is. Today is finally Purple Day! Fuck yeah! Language! All right, class, we're going to go around the class, and everyone's going to tell me one thing that's purple. Alex, why don't you start? Oh, ah, grapes are purple! Wrong. Sometimes grapes are green. Try again, Alex. Ah, Barney's purple! Wrong again. Barney's stomach is green. He's not completely purple. Try again. Name something completely purple. Ah, eggplants! They're purple! Wrong again, Alex, because the stem of an eggplant is green, so it's not completely purple. You fail for today. This is bullshit! Anyone else want to try to name something completely purple? My mom's body was completely purple when I found her dead! That doesn't count, Mikey! I'm sure she was another color, too. No, she was only purple. How about someone else goes? Daryl, would you like to try? Bear, 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 bear,
Mikey, you bitch! <laughs> God damn it, Mikey, get back here! All right, Joseph, this is the kindergarten classroom. What, guys, what the hell are you doing here? We said we were gonna sneak into your kindergarten class. I said don't do that! Well, we're already here! Okay, well, if you're already here, help me catch Mikey. Who's Mikey? He's the blonde kid in the orange shirt. I have an orange shirt. Well, you're not blonde, are you? No. Come on, let's catch Mikey! Okay! Hey, Daryl, I'm gonna hide in your desk, but don't tell anyone! Hey, you guys seen Mikey? No! Yeah! Wait, which is it? I ain't stitching! Wait, Cody, why is that kid pressing bear over and over and over again? I don't know. He doesn't talk. That's just what he does. Oh, Cody, there's Mikey. He's wearing orange. But he's not blonde. Well, that kid over there is blonde. Yes, but she's not wearing an orange shirt. Kindergarten's way too hard. <laughs> God damn it, Mikey, get back here. <laughs> oh, Cody, are you finished with your test? No, I have to make some corrections. <gasps> Cody, you spelled your name wrong. Your name's not code. I asked you if you knew how to spell your name. I didn't write that. Your name is spelled C-O-D-Y. D-Y. Y. Yeah, I know. Oh. Cody, you got everything wrong on your test. 2 plus 2 isn't 17, and 3 plus 2 isn't 1. I know, that's because I didn't write that. Mikey did it. <gasps> you cheated off of Mikey? What? No, Mikey didn't even have a fucking test. I was the only person taking it. Oh, and the only thing you got right was my goal, which is zero. And why the fuck would I even write that? You made Mr. Apple sad because you couldn't do it. Well, ask Mr. Apple who really took the test. He knows. Actually, you know what? Ask my friends. Mikey stole it, right, guys? <gasps> Cody, you snuck in your friends from an older grade to help you cheat on your test? But no! Well, to be fair, I didn't know that 2 plus 0 was 2. I thought it was 0. Junior, that's 2 times 0. Oh, do we jog our animal practice? I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> Maybe your friends should be in kindergarten with you. Look, just let me take the test again. I can do it! No, I'm sorry, Cody, but there's no way you can pass kindergarten. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go beat Mikey's ass. Come on, guys! Wait, no, no, no! Actually, I have to check my phone. Do what you gotta do. I love my blocks. Hey, Freddy. <laughs> what happened? Did you fail your test? Yeah, sure did. But guess what? I want to introduce you to some friends of mine. You don't have friends. Yeah, I do. We're the Skeeter Boys, and we're gonna fuck. Yeah, let's get the Skeeter Boys. Yeah, get the guy. Yeah, yeah, fight back, hold the fight back. Can I be a Skeeter Boy? Yeah, sure. Come on, Freddy. Yeah, Skeeter Boy, Mason. You can I see nothing. What do you think he's doing? Maybe he's just going through the punishment book to find a punishment. <laughs> I found it. What'd you find? The word nigger. <laughs> that Mark Twain is a literary genius. <laughs> but you guys, what the hell is wrong with you? Biting in a kindergarten class? And sneaking in here trying to cheat on a test? You thought I wouldn't find out? <laughs> well, we didn't cheat on the test. All we did was beat up a kindergarten. <laughs> You should have just said that. Oh, my bad, my bad. That's silly me. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? Oh, I could send all of y'all to Junie. <laughs> you know that? I could send you to Junie. <laughs> Junie. I, I think he just likes saying Junie. <laughs> Junie is kid prison. <laughs> you want to go to kid prison, badasses? No. Oh, I could send you to kid prison, but you know what? I got a better plan. How about I send you to kindergarten? <laughs> Sir, yeah. sir, I I'm already in kindergarten. Well, your friends can join in kindergarten, okay? What? And I got the perfect test for you. If you fail my exam, you get to stay in kindergarten forever! Well, I, 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 I have a question about it. What? Since we're going to kindergarten, yeah. it, is the video going to be called Cody Goes to Kindergarten? Or is it going to be we all go to kindergarten? I haven't uh, thought about that one. Maybe Junior goes to kindergarten? But what about Joseph? Joseph's going. Uh, what about uh, Cody plus two? Yeah, maybe Junior and friends go to kindergarten? That's too long. How about Ju Junior's misadventures? How about Junior, Joseph, Cody go to kindergarten? Yeah, no, no, that, that's, that's too long. That's pretty long. Thanks again to Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to grab your limited time offer by clicking the link in the description. Act now and get 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the epic OV Dragon, and the SML decoration instantly. Go check out Dragon City now. What do you want to do today? Dude, let's watch Coyote Peterson videos. Oh, yeah, that'd be sick. Who's Coyote Peterson? <gasps> Junior, you don't know who Coyote Peterson is. He's the most savage dude in nature. Yeah, yeah, he gets stung by wasps and bees and scorpions and stuff, and he gets bit by snakes just to see how much it will hurt. Sounds like it hurts. Yeah, it does, but he does it for our entertainment. I want to watch one of the videos. Well, I think he just uploaded a new one. Let's watch it. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Coyote Peterson, and today I'm going to be getting bit by one of the most venomous and painful spiders in the world, 
the rare nocturnal ouchie spider. They call him that for the ouchies he gives you, and he only comes out at night. Now, unlike normal spiders, this spider has ears and a low self-esteem, so the only way you can get him to bite you is by calling him names. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the ouchie zone. Stupid spider, stupid eight-legged freak, you little land octopus freak, bite me. Bite me, you ugly little freak. Bite, oh, he's biting me. Ooh, 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 ouchie. Ooh, ooh, ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Oh, I'm saying ouchie so many times because how that's how much it hurts because he's an ouchie spider. Ouchie. Ooh, ooh, ouchie, oh, ouchie. Oh, that hurts so bad. Mm, ouchie, 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 ouchie. Mm. Whoa. Uh. That looks like it hurts. Yeah, yeah, you can tell it hurts because of his facial expressions. That's actual, genuine pain. You can't fake that. You know, he should get an Oscar. I don't see Leonardo DiCaprio getting bit by spiders for his roles. He only gets mauled by CGI bears. But Coyote Peterson, he would actually get mauled by a real bear just to see if it would hurt. And I bet it would hurt. But I don't know, because I don't know if something hurts or not until Coyote Peterson does it. I know. He's such a badass. I want to be just like him someday. <laughs> the news! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Famous YouTube and TV personality, Coyote Peterson, has been arrested for trying to solicit a prostitute. Let's show the footage now. Hi, I'm Coyote Peterson, and I've been bitten and stung by every dangerous animal on the planet. So now, I'm moving on to humans. Now up ahead is a very cheap prostitute. Now, who knows how many diseases she might have, but the cheaper, the more dangerous. So let's find out. Excuse me, ma'am. How much? Five dollars. All right, hop in. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the suck zone. What? Oh, no! Coyote Peterson got arrested? Aw, oh, dude, he was just looking for some love. He was probably lonely. But if he's in jail, how am I going to get my weekly Coyote Peterson content? I need my Coyote Peterson videos. I can't start my week unless I see Coyote Peterson in excruciating pain. Well, guys, since he's in jail, why don't we make our own Coyote Peterson videos? Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, it would be fun, dude. Okay, who wants to get bit by an animal first? Oh, no, not me, dude. I'm not getting bit by no snakes. I don't want to get bit by an animal because I don't want an I think it disease or something. I'll do it. Wait, Cody, you'll do it? You're usually afraid of everything. But I want to be a badass like Coyote Peterson. Well, you got to pick a name. You got to have an official name. Okay, uh, you can call me Coy Coyote Peterson, but like with a D instead of a T. Or, or, or Coyote Peterson. Or Cody Peterson. Yeah, I like that. Cody Peterson. Yeah, Cody Peterson sounds really official. Yeah. All right, Cody Peterson, what's the first thing you're going to get bit by? Ooh, a rattlesnake. Yeah, rattlesnake. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Co Coyote Peterson never gets bit by anything that could kill him. Uh -huh. Okay, um, what about a bullet ant? But, Junior, they don't live here. They live in Nicaragua. What'd you say, bro? I said they live in Nicaragua. Do I look like I need some water? I'm not thirsty, okay, cracker agua? What? No, I just mean they don't live here. We deserve to live here. Abraham Lincoln freed us, okay? We deserve to live here. I was talking about bullet ants. Oh, you should have said that. Okay, Cody, so you can't get bit by a bullet ant. You don't want to get bit by a rattlesnake. Ooh, how about we go to the pet store and we buy a python and let it bite you? But, Junior, pythons are really known for constricting, not biting. Okay, well, I, I've seen Cody Peterson get bit by a python, so if you don't want to get bit by a python, just say you're not Cody Peterson. Yeah. No, no, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll get bit by a python. All right, so let's go to the pet store and buy a python and let it bite you. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, let, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Uh, come on. Yeah. Oh, look, Cody, they have a snake right here. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Petorama. Now, that's Petorama with a T. I, I know, the name is really bad. I keep telling them they have to change it, especially if we have kids coming in here. So what can I get you? Can I get you, like, maybe a betta fish, the laziest, easiest pet you could possibly have? I mean, they just sit in their tank and do nothing, and then you just watch them slowly die. It's really sad. You know, some people keep them in cups. I mean, how sad is that? Can you imagine just living the rest of your life in a little cup, stewing in your own juices until you die? Well, anyway, we have a few cups of betta fish over there if you want one. Oh, no, we're not interested in that. We want a python. Ooh, a snake, huh? Ooh, you guys must be badasses. Well, have you ever had a snake before? No. Oh, well, okay, let me tell you, it's going to get pretty expensive because you got you to gotta buy the snake, then you got to buy the bedding, and then you got to buy the rats he eats, and then, I mean, it gets it adds up. Oh, uh, well, we don't really need all that stuff. We just need the snake. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not just going to sell you the snake. I have to give you something to put him in. Well, we don't need to keep him as a pet. We just want to buy him, let him bite my friend on camera, and then we'll release him in the wild. What? N no. What? No. You can't do that. You can't let him go. It's an invasive species. He's from the wild. We can send him back to where he came from. Well, he's not from around here. It would mess up the ecosystem. I can't let you do that. We just need him to bite my friend on camera, and then we'll bring him back. Okay, why do you need him to bite your friend so bad? Because he makes these videos where he lets dangerous animals bite him, and then he reacts to 
to it. Oh, like that uh, Coyote Peterson. Exactly. Uh, this is his, this is Coyote Peterson's younger brother, Cody Peterson. Oh, a celebrity, huh? Well, I mean, in that case, I guess I could let you borrow the python. Hmm. Yeah, but you'd have to bring them back. And you'd have to give our pet store a shout out. Now, when you say Petorama, make sure you really enunciate that T. Pet-O-Rama. We got a lot of weird fuckers in here coming in thinking it's a safe place for them. And you can spot them a mile away, too. You gotta be like, hey, you, get out of here, shoot, scram. Yeah, so, so just make sure you say that right. Okay, all right, well, we'll give the pet store a shout out. So can we uh, get the python so we can bite Cody? Yeah, yeah, he's in there. See, we call him Sleepy because he sleeps most of the time, you know, like, like one of the seven dwarves. You know, we had one called Grumpy, but he choked out the manager, so we had to put him down. Anyway, I'll get you a Ziploc bag for him. We don't have any boxes left. Wait, wait how, how, how do we make him make sure he bites my friend? Oh, oh, yeah, I mean, if you piss him off, he probably should do that. So if you, like, blow him up like a balloon and then, like, tie him up like a balloon animal or if you skip rope with them, that probably piss them off. Okay, all right, I, thank you. Let me get him out. All right, Cody, we got the snake. Now come over here and let him bite you. Hey, hey there, little snake. Uh, hi. Well, stop backing up, you're acting like you're scared of him. Oh, I, I, I'm not scared of anything, I'm, I'm Cody Peterson. Yeah, that's the spirit, dude. All right, Joseph, you recording? Yeah, I'm recording, bro. All right, Cody, let him bite you. Uh, hey, everybody, I'm Cody Peterson. Uh, Cody, you gotta talk with confidence, you gotta look at the camera. Come on, look, dude. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, act like you're actually like about to get bitten and you gotta scream when he bites you. Yeah, own it, dude. Hey, everybody. I'm Cody Peterson, and today I'm gonna get bit by this store-bought python from a pet store. And I think it's gonna hurt really bad. What's the name of the pet store? Uh, Petoland? Petorama. Oh, yeah, well, shout out to Petorama for giving us this python to with bite. With a Petorama with a T. Yes, yeah. with, with a T for pets. Uh, okay, uh... Here, here I go. No, 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 you gotta do the intro, you gotta say, my name's Cody Peterson. Yeah, you gotta own it, dude. Yeah, 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 right, right. Uh, uh, I'm Cody Peterson, and I'm about to enter the snake bite zone. Come on, little buddy. Bite Make sure me. you look in the camera when it bites you. Come on, bite me. Make sure you scream when it bites you. Mm -hmm. Okay, bite me. Bite me. Please. Ow! Ow, 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 fuck, ow, fuck, that hurts so bad. Ow, 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 my fucking hand, ow. Oh, ow. dude, that was so sick. Did you see that? Oh, he got bit, you saw he's gonna get bit. He got bit. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, the funniest darn thing happened. You guys remember the non-venomous python I gave you guys from the pet store? Well, it turns out that our python supplier actually ran out of pythons. I mean, how does that even happen, right? I mean, you're a python supplier, you ran out of pythons, how does that even happen? What's going on? But anyway, it turns out he thought it would be a really funny silly goose prank to cut the tail off an eastern diamondback rattlesnake and give it to us, telling us it was a python. So, that python we gave you was actually an eastern diamondback rattlesnake, which just so happens to be one of the most venomous snakes in the entire country. Whoa, that's so cool! That means in my YouTube video, we can say that he got bit by a rattlesnake instead of a python! Yeah, and you know what else is really cool? He's having an allergic reaction to the venom, which is also a deadly hemotoxin that's causing his cells to die, it's causing his organs to fail, and it's causing tissue death, which you can see right here in his hand. Look, kids, it's dying. Oh, wow, so what can you do to stop it? Well, we could probably suck the venom out if somebody here was really good at sucking. Nurse, good at sucking? Do I need to go to HR again? No, 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 I just wondered, you know, what your head game was like. I mean, your hair is always up in a ponytail, so I thought maybe you were always ready. That's it, I'm going to Linda in HR. No, 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 don't, Ugh. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna suck the venom out. I just brush my teeth and that would taste yucky. You know, like how you drink orange juice after you, you brush your teeth and it's like, it just tastes bad? Ugh. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm saying, ugh. Well, anyway, I think I can use some antivenom. That should clear it right up. Okay, so I just give him the antivenom and what else? Yeah, and then you can just take him home and show him some Coyote Peterson videos to cheer him up. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna upload the video we filmed and maybe it'll get a million views and that can pay for his medical bills. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I'll get the antivenom. All right, Cody, come on. You're gonna be a superstar on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Cody, I know you're in a lot of pain, but the video of you getting bit by a snake has over three million views. Dude, how does it feel to be famous? <laughs> oh, wow. Be humble, Cody. Be grateful. He's like, oh, I got three million views. Blah. What does that mean? Sometimes we get the wrong people fame. <sighs> I feel like I'm dying. All right, Cody, I understand you got three million views, but you're not that famous. You're not suffocating from all the fame, Cody. Uh, the news. What? You want to go on the news? You think the news should cover you because of how famous you are? Wow, you're not Mr. Beast, Cody. You got well, you got one one-hit wonder. You just got one video. That's all you got. The news. What? The news. Breaking news.
Okay. Coyote Peterson has posted bail and is out of jail. And he has released a new episode to try to rehabilitate his image. Let's watch that episode now. Oh, oh God, guys, a new Coyote Peterson episode's about to play. Oh, dude, I can't wait. Fuck Coyote Peterson. Cody, don't say that about your idol. Yeah, watch your mouth. Hey guys, it's me, Coyote Peterson, and I saw online where some amateurs were trying to steal my thunder, specifically somebody named Cody Peterson. Cody Peterson, I have a message for you. Suck my left nut, because today I'm going to be getting stung by the Africanized killer honeybee. No one has ever survived being stung by one of these, but today, it's gonna be me. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone. Ooh. Ooh, it's gonna hurt so bad. Ooh, that sting is gonna hurt so bad. It's gonna hurt. Ooh, ooh, he's stinging me. Oh, ouchie. Ooh, ow, 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 ooh. Ooh, that stings so bad. Oh, that's a bad sting. Ooh, ow, 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 that's a big old stinger right in my arm. Ow, ooh, ooh, ow, 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 ooh, that stings. Ooh, ooh, ouchie, ow, ooh. Breaking news. Okay. There is a rumor that Coyote Peterson may be a fraud, that he doesn't perform his own stunts because of this frame. You can clearly see that it is someone else's arm being stung by a bee. What? Coyote Peterson's a fraud? Uh, you're telling me I got bit by a rattlesnake for no fucking reason? It can't be! Uh, I'm Cody Peterson, and I'm about to enter the death zone. <clears throat> Is he dead? Cody, you better wake up, boy! What's wrong, Dad? I told you to wash them damn dishes! I did! Oh, no, you didn't! Come on! Uh, oh, so you washed the dishes, huh? What's this? These were not here before. That's because I ate! Well, how was I supposed to know there were dishes now? Boy, don't talk back to your dad! Okay. Cody, why are you out of bed? It's past your bedtime. Well, Dad woke me up to do the dishes. Damn, Skipper, you gonna wash these dishes? Go to bed. After you wash these dishes? No, go to bed first. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Damn it, you grounded for talking back, boy! Go to your room. We don't want to see you for a week. And no toothpaste! Yeah, I better not see no clean-ass teeth. <laughs> My life. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, Cody. What? Who are you? It's me, Hagrid. I I don't know who you are. Mom, Dad, there's a homeless man in the house. No, 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 no. Listen, you're a wizard, Cody. I, I'm a wizard. And you're rich, filthy rich. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Mom, Dad. No, 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 no. Just come with me. And I'll take you to your safe. It, it sounds like you're trying to kidnap me. Nah, it'll be fine. Come on. Okay, well, I guess it's better than being here. Come on, Cody, how about my motorcycle? Hold on, I, ju I just have a few questions. Where are we going, and should I tell my parents? Whoa, 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 those aren't your parents. Your real parents are dead, and those dead parents made you filthy rich. Come on, just check it out. We think you're safe. Uh, okay. This is your safe. This big thing? Yes, look. Holy mackerel, all this money's mine? Everything you see is yours. Wait, why do you have the combination of my safe? Because your parents trusted me, and they really shouldn't have. There used to be a lot more money than this. You see, I went to a wizard strip club, and there was floating titties all over my face. Okay, well, I'm going to be changing the password. Wait, what's this red thing? This. <laughs> this is mine. Uh, are you sure it's not mine? Because it's in my safe. Yeah, it's mine. Just hurry up, grab some cash. I have a list of things for you to buy. Okay. Like an owl, hurry! An, an owl? Okay, fine, I guess that's good. Okay, I think I got everything on the list. I just can't believe I'm loaded. Yeah, that's crazy! Uh, oh, yeah, uh, here, here's for helping. Thanks. Uh, so how do I get to Hogwarts? There! That, that's a brick wall. No, it's a magical wall. You run as fast as you can into that wall, and you appear in front of Hogwarts. Really? You're not screwing with me? No, come on, do it! Okay, if you say so. Ow! Oh, oh, shit! Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! Stupid! Come on, follow me. I'll take you to Hogwarts. Dick? This is Hogwarts. Are you sure? Yes. Now go grab your owl, 
Go inside and make some friends. You never told me why I need the owl. You're also famous. What? I'm rich and I'm famous? What am I famous for? There was a guy who killed your parents. He tried to kill you too, but he couldn't. That's why you left a scar on your face. You're the boy who lived, wait, Potter. Wait, 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 wait. So, so somebody killed my parents and he's trying to kill me? Yes. Now go inside and have some fun. No, who's trying to kill me? Welcome to Hogwarts. What? I, Hagrid, don't leave. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry, just let me squeeze in. Uh, hey, you guys know what I'm supposed to do with this owl? It's supposed to go in your dorm room. I have a dorm room? I have to live here? Well, take it off the table, put it in the chair. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry about that, let me just put this down here. Hi. Hi, I'm Penelope Granger. And I'm Nigel Weasley. Oh, hey, I'm Cody Potter. <gasps> Holy cricket, you're Cody Potter. I've read about you in a book, you're famous. But there's a book about me? And you're rich. I'm poor. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, so there's a book about me? Also, I heard somebody's trying to kill me. You guys know anything about that? Yes, we do, but we can't say his name. It's scary. Oh, okay, but I am going to need to know his name because he's trying to kill me. So, I mean, clearly somebody told you guys his name because it's the name you're not going to say. So could somebody tell me? I mean, you could just whisper it. That'd be fine. Shh, the sorting ceremony is beginning. Okay, you could, could you just tell me what he looks like? Shh. Hello students, welcome to Hogwarts. I'm Professor Dumbledore, and I will call you up one by one and let you wear my hat, and he'll tell you where to go. I hope I'm in Ravenclaw. Oh, hope I'm in Swivering. Why are they letting the hat do it? Can't we just pick the house for ourselves? Also, the guy who's trying to kill me, is, is he here right now? Like, could you guys point him out, just give me a hint or something? Well, if it isn't Cody Potter. That's Junior Malfoy, he's mean. And look at those ugly teeth. You must be a Weasley. Is your family known for that? Yeah. Well, Cody Potter, I don't care if you're famous or rich. I hate you. Uh, okay. Okay, the first kid is Jeffy. Hmm, not much going on in there. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff? Does that mean I get to smoke weed? All right, next kid is Junior. Man, I sure hope it's Slytherin. Slytherin! Slytherin! Oh, good. All right, next one, Penelope. I hope I get Ravenclaw. Huh, in your dreams. You're Gryffindor, go sit down. But I didn't even try the hat on. That's because he's tired. He told me before you came up here, you're Gryffindor, go sit down. Ugh. And Nigel, you're Gryffindor too. He's still tired. And uh, Cody, Cody Potter, you come up here. He has enough in him for one more. Uh, that hat doesn't have lice in it, does it? Because a lot of people have been wearing it. Uh, okay, screw me then. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Wait, okay, yeah, Hufflepuff. I like that. That's fine. Okay, so what happens now? It's time to eat. Oh, good. Um, c can you just tell me the guy's name? Like, can you at least tell me what letter it starts with? Let the feast begin! I ordered Applebee's to go! Oh my god, it looks so good! Now this is eating good in the neighborhood, isn't it? Yeah, Applebee's, how magical. Oh, Cody, why are you gonna eat first? Do you want some pasta? I'm eating the burger, putter. Okay, you can have it, I think I lost my appetite. Cody, you have to eat something, we have a lot of classes later today. <sighs> I just got here and I found out someone's trying to kill me. What? Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take a nap until class starts. Alright class, today we're going to be learning how to fly a broom. The first thing you're going to do is look at your broomstick and yell up, 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 up. up. I just picked mine up and started sweeping the floor with it. Very good, Jeffy. Up, 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 yeah, no phones in class, nerd. What? Hey, hey! Go get it! What? I'm gonna go get it. Whoa! Look at him go! God damn it. Why'd you throw my phone, dick? Wow, that was amazing flying, Potter! You should be on the Quidditch team as a seeker! Okay. Can I be on the Quidditch team too? Sure. I'm gonna beat you in Quidditch. But what? Hello and welcome to the Hogwarts Quidditch Tournament! Now, usually what you're supposed to do is knock a ball through a bunch of hoops, but we took all the hoops down because all that really matters is this thing. If you catch the golden snitch, you win immediately. So just focus on this. Okay, now, go! You see that? Yeah, that thing's fast. Well, I'm gonna go catch it, because I have a Nimbus 2001 George Bush edition. Aw, I didn't know those came out yet. I'm not jealous. I could buy like 30 of those hoes, because I'm fucking loaded. I got all my money in Gringotts. Well, I'm gonna catch it before you. Nuh-uh. 
Uh, I'm about to catch it! No, I'm gonna catch it. No, uh, I'm gonna catch it! No, I'm gonna catch it. Whoa! Whoa, I lost control of my broomstick! I'm not controlling this! S somebody evil is! I wonder who it could be! Crash! Crash your broom! Die! Don't crash. Don't crash. What's, what's happening? Don't, don't crash. Don't listen. Crash. Why are you doing that? Crash. Don't crash. Whoa. Whoa, no. Someone help. Whoa. Penelope. Cody's about to die. It looks like someone's controlling his broom. <gasps> it's Professor Snipe. We gotta do something about it. I'll go distract him. All right then. Die. Crash. Don't crash your broom. Don't Teacher, I have a lighter at school. What? You have a lighter at school? You're not supposed to have that. You're in trouble. Let's go to the principal's office. Come on. We gotta take her to the principal's office. But die. Come on! Whoa, 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 hey, it stopped. Oh, look, the golden snitch. No. Hey, Cody, spit that out. <laughs> hey, look, I caught it. I guess I win. Cody Potter grabbed the snitch. Hufflepuff wins. Yay, Cody, you won. Yeah, Cody, you did it. You're the greatest Quidditch player ever. I think I just got lucky. No, that's pure skill, Cody. My broomstick looks like a carrot. All right, class. Welcome to Wizard Class 101. I am your teacher, Professor Snapey True, and today I will be teaching you how to use your wand. See, I have a tiny wand because I am Asian. Everything I have is tiny, and it is very important that you pay attention in Wizard Class. Isn't that right, Potter? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, teacher. I was just texting my mom to let her know I'm rich and I'm not coming back home to that shithole. Oh, so you think you don't have to pay attention because you know everything. Well, what would I get if I added a powder root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Hmm. I don't know, dog. I just found out I'm a wizard and I'm rich today, so I've been kind of focusing on that. So just give me a few weeks. And I bet you couldn't also tell me how many grains of sand there are on Earth. Hmm. No one knows that. Hop off my cock, dog. Pick on someone else. All right, Cross. The first spell you're going to learn is a little floating trick. You're going to take your stick and point it at whatever you want. And then you're going to say, Wingardium Leviosa. And then whatever you point it at should float. So try it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, Cody Potter, that, that spell will come in handy with your mom because she's so fat she can't get out of bed. So that, that, that spell will help her float because she's so fat. Hagrid, he's bullying me. Who? The blonde kid. Pay me to beat him up. Okay, I hear you. All right, kid, you coming with me. But why? He paid me. Thanks, Hagrid. Oh, Cody, what kind of spell is that? Bully disappear, Oh, uh, that wasn't a spell. I just got cash. Oh, right. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm making this desk float! Look, that's cool! Potter! You put that dust down! You don't want to hurt nobody! Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to put it down. Whoa! Uh. Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Cody! What in the world would you do that? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, it's true, isn't it? Oh, Potter, you go to Dumbledore's office now! Ugh. Oh no, not Dumbledore! Hey, Dumbledore, I threw a desk at Professor Snape. The way of the wizard is not in which you seek, Potter. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go into the door upstairs. Why would you even tell me? Because I don't want you to go in there. It's almost like you want me to go in there. Well, I don't. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. I told him not to. Huh, this must be the door Dumbledore was talking about. Hi, Cody! What are you doing? Are you skipping class? No, Dumbledore told me not to go into this room, and now I want to. Oh, well, you can't go in there. He says do not enter. It would be against the rules, Cody. You know what? I think we should go in there now. Good thinking, Nigel. Let me just try to open this. Oh, it's not even locked. Whoa, is that a three-headed dog? You know, I'm more of a cat person myself. That's Hagrid's dog. It must be guarding the door. It eats people. Be careful. Well, Jesus, what is it even doing here? Okay, I'm going to go ask Hagrid about it. Hey, Hagrid? Oh, hey there, Cody. How's school going? Yeah, uh, it sucks. Listen, I have a question. There's like this giant three-headed dog, and I'm pretty sure he's yours. How do I get him to stop eating me? Oh, if you want to know that, that's going to cost you a pretty penny. <sighs> You're bleeding me dry here, dog. Damn. All you have to do is play music or go to sleep. Really? That's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks.
Alright, Hagrid said we have to play music for him to make him fall asleep, so does anyone have Spotify or something? I've got this, I'll sing for him. <coughs> Be itchy, bitchy spy, I went up your water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spy out. Up came the sun and tried to boil the rain and the itchy, bitchy spy went up the spout again. Wait, wow, he's actually asleep. Yeah, let's go take a look, see, innit? Alright. Oh, look, a chessboard! And in that, Professor Quarrel! Hey, kids. Is that the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, it is, but I can't touch it yet. But if I beat you in chess, I can. Oh, well, you can't beat us in chess, we're British. <sighs> Bring it, hose. Alright, I'll go first in. Knight to E3! Uh, Nigel, I think you have to move it. What kind of wizard chess is this? Oh, it's not, it's just regular chess. Oh, alright then. We go ahead. Decent. There we go. Pawn to A3! This is going to take a while. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I'm done. Watch this. Take that, you fool. I can't believe I've lost it. Yes! I don't feel so good. I think I need to see the nurse. I'm going to take him to the clinic. <laughs> Hey Cody, guess what? I got a face on my head. Not this face, I actually got another face on the back of my head. Check this shit out, it's wild. Hello, Cody Potter. We meet again. I've never met you. I think I'd remember a face on the back of a guy's head. Are, are you guys like conjoined twins or something? Can you breathe under that towel? D does he like have to brush your teeth? You guys share the same throat. How does that work? No time for games, Potter. Give me the stone and we can bring your parents back to life. I didn't really know my parents. Like, they left me a lot of cash, and I'm worried if they come back, I won't get to keep it. Give me the Sorcerer's Stone now! I don't like your tone, and also, it's right there. You can just grab it. I can't! Hand it to me! Nah, you sound kinda evil. I, I don't really like any of this. If you won't give it to me, then you will die! Kill him! Ow! 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 My hand's burning! Ow! How are you doing? Ow! Ow! Wow, this stone looks like it's worth a lot of money. Hello, Kitty! Oh, hey, Dumbledore. I, I found the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, and also Professor Quirrell was evil. He had a face growing on the back of his head. You guys should probably do better background checks. The stone must be destroyed! Hand it over. That seems okay to me. Well, it's not. Hand it over. Okay. Cha-ching! What? Nothing! Yep. Uh, Hufflepuff wins! What? What? I win? What does that mean? Uh, hey guys, I, uh, I killed a man with my hands, and then Dumbledore told me I won. Well, it's time to pack your bags, Cody. We're going home for the summer holiday. What, home for the summer? I just got here today. I don't even think I learned anything. What? I never figured out what this owl is for. Like, why do I even have this? I haven't seen anyone else here with an owl. It's for mail. Mail? I have a phone. Oh, oh, also, the guy with the two faces that I killed, was that the guy who was trying to kill me? Because he, he did try to kill me. So, can we say his name now? Is that him? G guys? Okay, I guess I'll see you guys next year. All right, class, today is February 29th, 2024, and it is a leap year. Usually, February has 28 days, but every four years, February gains an extra day because every frog on Earth leaps at the exact same time, making Earth a little bit lighter. And then it pushes Earth further away from the sun. And then when all the frogs on Earth land back on the ground, then it pushes Earth back into a normal orbit. And that is a leap year. I was wondering why I didn't see any frogs today. Yeah, dude, I usually eat frogs for breakfast, but I couldn't find any by the river. Ugh. Guys, that's not what a leap year is. Oh yeah, then what's a leap year, nerd? Well, the Earth takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 46 seconds to orbit the sun, but we round that down to 365 days for a normal year. But then, every four years, we make up for those extra six hours by adding an extra day to the end of February. Why do you, like, look weird today? Like, did you get a haircut? Yeah, something's different about you, dude. 
And another crazy thing is that if your birthday is on February 29th, you only age every four years. Imagine having a birthday today. I know, dude. So depressing. But I'd rather have a birthday on September 11th. <laughs> or Columbine. Yeah, days that actually matter. Dude, if my birthday was today, I would jump off the tallest bridge. Yeah, like the tallest bridge. Like, ah, my life doesn't matter. <laughs> Face plan. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> right, Cody? Cody, why are you wearing a dunce cap? It's not a dunce cap, it's a birthday hat. Dude, it's not your birthday today. Yeah, your birthday's not today. Yes, it is. Oh, wait, Joseph, today is his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, dude. Yeah, happy birthday, you butt humper. Thanks, guys. I mean, we don't understand why you do it, but we're still your friend. That's great, you can stop. So how many times do I get to hit you, though? While I'm turning 16. Wait, how many birthdays have you actually had? Four. So you're four years old? No, we've had this conversation. I'm still 16. How many February 29th have existed since you've been born? Four. So you're four years old? No, that doesn't mean time didn't still pass for 16 years. Okay, hold on. So when February 29th doesn't exist, what day do you celebrate your birthday on? March 1st. But were you born on March 1st? No. So you can't celebrate your birthday on a day you weren't actually born on, Cody. Yeah, you don't get to pick and choose, dude. Yeah, I, I want my birthday on Christmas. Nah, mine's is on 4th of July. Yeah, I want my birthday every single day. That's what I want. Guys, we've been through this before. I'm still 16. Teacher, Cody's birthday's today. How old is he? Wait, Cody, your birthday's on February 29th? That means you're only four years old. You can't be four years old in my class. You have to go back to kindergarten. Get out of my class right now. What? I'm the smartest kid in this class. I don't belong in kindergarten. Go to the kindergarten classroom right now. Oh, screw all of you guys. Here, you can have my stupid birthday hat. Look at the four-year-old throwing a temper tantrum. Aw, I thought he was out of his terrible tools. You need your apple juice and your animal crackles. I hope you all die. Ugh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick's kindergarten class. I'm not supposed to be in kindergarten. I'm the smartest kid in the school. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> She said one, two, three, all eyes on me. I think that means you gotta shut the fuck up. I don't wanna hear the rip the hammer. Get my hammer. Class, class, if you're not quiet right now, no animal crackers or juice. Mikey, I'm calling your mother. <laughs> my mom's dead. <laughs> that is it. I'm putting my foot down. No animal crackers or juice. No animal crackers or juice. <laughs> 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 Right. That's right. No animal crackers or juice unless you're quiet by the time I count to three. One, two, three. Good. Mikey, goddammit, get your ass in the timeout chair. Oh, man. How'd she know it was me? Mikey, you sit there and think about what you've done. I think my dad killed my mom. Okay. Now, class, we have a new student. Come here, young man. I'm Miss Fitzpatrick, and what's your name? Cody. Class, use your manners. Everyone say hi to Cody. Hi, Cody. Ow, Mikey, you little bitch. Now, Cody, that's no-no language. We don't use that. That was a no-no word. Okay, but Mikey's still a piece of shit. I know that, but we don't say it, right, Mikey? <laughs> Mikey, you little shit! I'm glad we're on the same page about Mikey. Cody, now why don't you go introduce yourselves to your other classmates and try to make new friends. Find somewhere to sit. Okay. Hey, what are you chodes up to? I'm coloring it out the puss. That's cool. I spell penis book. <laughs> nice, two of my favorite things. Oh, the dizzy character's purple. Wow, you have a very vivid imagination, young man. Why is he only pushing bear? Bear's his favorite animal. The teacher said he's on the spectrum. Okay, well let's try a different animal. Bear. 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 Yay. You guys have fun sitting here. I'm gonna go look for a different seat. Penis boom! <laughs> wow, this is cool. You guys get to just sit here and play with toys all day? Can I try? <laughs> ow, 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 okay, okay, never mind. I'm not sitting here. <laughs>
Oh, cool, blocks. I wouldn't touch those blocks, didn't it? Mikey's blocks. Yeah, well, guess what? Mikey's bitch ass is in timeout, so these are Cody's blocks now. Wow, can I play too? Sure, why the hell not? Oh, you're really cool, Cody. You know what? I hate you the least. What's your name? Freddy. Nice to meet you, Freddy. You think I can stick this block in my butthole? Not if I beat you to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class, since you've been so good, I'm going to pass out the animal crackers and juice. Yeah! What about Mikey? Does Mikey get animal crackles and juice? Fuck off, Mikey! Yeah! Oh, okay, okay, Mikey, Mikey, listen. If you can be quiet for three whole minutes, you can get out of timeout and get animal crackers and juice. Okay, Mikey will not make a sound. Okay. <coughs> okay, class, I'm gonna pass out the snacks. Wow, you guys get animal crackers and juice? It's animal crackers and juice day. Here you go, Cody, there's your animal crackers and juice. Dope. Nope. And here you go, Freddy. There's yours. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for saying thank you. You're welcome. Oh, thank you for saying you're welcome. You're welcome again. You have such good manners. Damn, Freddy. I think she has a crush on you. You could probably tap that if you wanted to. You're in there like swimwear. I wear pull-ups when I go swimming so I can take a dookie in the pool. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, class. Are you enjoying your animal crackers and juice? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, I got a question. What is it, Taylor? Why does Daryl get a Coca-Cola? Because Daryl is special. Is it because it's the last day of Black History Month? No. Daryl, Daryl, I have a question for you. What kind of animal drinks Coca-Cola in the commercials? Daryl. Very good, a bear, specifically a polar bear. <laughs> a bear, a bear, just a regular bear. All right, class, I hope you're enjoying your crackers and juice. Uh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Mrs. Fitzpatrick? Mrs. Fitzpatrick! What? Um, I've been really quiet, so I was wondering if I could go out uh, time out and eat some crackers and juice. Yes, you can go back to your seat. Yay! But, 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 but. If you act up again, Mikey, you're back in timeout. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Freddy, I think the elephants taste better than the hippos. But not as good as the giraffe ones. Hey, what are you doing near my blocks? This is my seat. I sit here. Yeah, well, don't touch my blocks. I don't see your name on them. Well, they're my blocks. What are you even doing here, Mikey? They let you out of timeout already? Yeah, I did three minutes a hard time. Hey, where's my straw? My apple juice doesn't have a straw. Freddy, give me a straw! No, I'm using it! I said, give me a straw! No! Hey, Mikey, how about you back the fuck off, Freddy? How about you make me full eyes? You also have glasses, dumbass! Oh, Mrs. Fitzpatrick! Cody said dumbass! So did you, dumbass! Yeah, i dumbass! Settle down, class. It's nap time. So everyone get out your pillows and blankets and lay down your heads and shut the fuck up. Wait, you guys get nap time? Yeah, what kind of school did you go to before? We get nap time every day. Yeah, I think the teacher uploads on our OnlyFans while we're napping. Well, good for her, I guess. Wow, this is the life. I get to eat animal crackers and drink juice, and I get nap time? We didn't even learn anything today. <laughs> I can get used to this. <sighs> Good, they're all asleep. Now I can check my OnlyFans, see how it's doing, so I can get out of this shitty job. Sweet Jesus, Freddy, those animal crackers aren't settling right, are they? <laughs> Why do one of my blocks smell like poop? Oh yeah, we shoved those up me and Freddy's ass. <laughs> Maybe Freddy should have stayed court. <laughs> Freddy did too. God damn it, Mikey. You're not supposed to be playing with your blocks. It is nap time. Don't be mad at me because you only have two subscribers on your OnlyFans and my dad's one of them. That is it. Time out, mister. Time out again? Ha <laughs> ha. Enjoy being in time out, Mikey, you fuckhead. <laughs> Mikey, 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 no biting, no biting, Mikey, oh god, not again. 
God, school sucked today. We have so much homework. Yeah, dude, I'm over it. Hey, guys. Cody, how'd you get here before us? I'm in kindergarten. We get out at noon. You get out at noon? Oh, lucky. Yeah, I'm four years old, so I guess I don't have to be in school as long. Wait a minute, you're four years old, so that, that means you're in kindergarten. <laughs> Loser. How was it? It was awesome. I got to eat animal crackers and drink apple juice, and I got nap time. Nap time? Yeah, it's perfect. The only thing that sucks is Mikey. Who's Mikey? He's this annoying little shit that bit my hand. I wish they had to cut his head off to see if he had rabies. So you're actually going to stay in kindergarten? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick around for a while. I was going to tell my parents and have them call the school so I can go back to normal classes, but I think it's pretty fun. I'm going to hang out there. Well, well, we have a bunch of homework. Do you have homework? <laughs> yeah, Miss Fitzpatrick said I have to find three things that are blue. My bow tie's blue, my shirt's blue, and my pants are blue. <laughs> well, I guess I'm done with my homework. I'm free for the afternoon, guys. Maybe I'll go practice my napping. What? I want to go to kindergarten. Dude, I hate him. La vida es un río siempre influyendo, con cada cambio seguimos creciendo. A veces es calma, a veces tormenta, en cada, en cada giro de la vida nos enfrenta, cambiando con la vida, como las hojas al viento, encontrando nuestro camino, en cada momento, momento, a través de las sesiones. A través del tiempo
Cambiando con la vida en su eterno movimiento. Cada amanecer trae una nueva oportunidad de dejar atrás el miedo, de buscar la verdad. Con cada paso dado aprendemos a vivir. La vida nos transforma, nos hace Y aunque el camino se encierre Con todo mi ser, un lugar de alegría. 